Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demo demonstrate how to install and configure Avanti plugin for SCCM. Avanti plugin for SCCM is a feature or a plugin that gives you ways or options to deploy third-party patching. Third-party patching, I mean Adobe, Java, Firefox, Chrome, um, BIOS update, even drivers. So now let's get started and um, let's take a look at the the requirements um, when installing this uh, plugin. So here's the um, simple requirements. First, you must be a member of the WSS administrator group and must have log on as a bad jobs must be assigned to all instance for objects that are related to assigned security roles security scope so now let's um, look at my sccm console you want to go into software library under all um, software updates So I don't see anything with Avanti. Um, once I install Avanti, there should be so there's no Avanti workspace. I'm going to close the console and I'm going to install the plugin. So I got the plugin downloaded. Um, SCCM pad setup. I'm going to right click and then run it. As administrator click yes the uh, this plugin require dotnet 4.4.8 um, if you don't have dotnet 4.8 it's going to install that for you so I'm going to click accept here click install it's really simple basic install there's not much to configure so now let's go into the console I'm going to right click and then run as administrator or run as administration administrator. Click yes. Let's go to software library under software updates. As you can see, there's two items created for Avanti. There's Avanti patch and publish third party updates. I'm going to click on Avanti patch. So here's the uh, welcome page. Um, it just tells you that this is for the third party applications uh, patching. Um, before you using the Avanti patch, first you need to go in through the wizard. So the main thing is here that um, you have to export the uh, certificate and distribute it to all your WSUS and all your workstations in your environment. Without the certificate, you won't be able to patch third-party applications or third-party patch. So I'm going to click Next. There's um, two settings available. You can do uh, Share Settings or you can do uh, individual settings. The share settings allow you to share your settings with other people logging to the console. So in this video, I'm not going to use share settings. I'm going to click next. The WSUS is automatically populated. I'm going to run a test connection, see if it works. Successfully connected to WSUS. So right here, it's talking about WSS certificate. You're going to have to uh, create self certificate and you're going to um, export it when you want to deploy to your workstations or any other WSS server. So next, I'm going to create self signed certificate. That's fine. It's just a warning. I'm going to click OK. 
The certificate must be in place under user server subject to deploy patches. So let's tell you here. The certificate should be validated by administrators. It's just information and warning. And also it says certificate must be trusted by Windows Update client before deploying third party updates. So it says here that you have to deploy to your workstations or your endpoint in your environment. I'm going to click OK. So now the certificate has populated. I'm going to export so I can use it for the deployment. I'm going to put it in here. Create a folder called cert. I'm going to call this uh, WSUS. Self sign. I'm going to click save. I don't need to do a signing timestamp, so I'm going to click next. If you have proxy settings in your environment, this is allowed you to connect to the internet. And if you don't have proxy, you don't need this information here. Let's click on the test to see if I need a proxy. Successfully connect to the internet. You do not need a proxy. So I'm going to skip this page and click next. License. So for license information, you have to enter the license. Um, in this case, I'm going to click on trial mode. If you have the uh, product license, you can just enter that here and click on add and make sure you check online and click activate online now. So in this case, trial, mate, uh, trial mode. I'm going to click activate online now. The trial mode gives me uh, 45 days to um, play around with the, the tools. Uh, once it's successfully completed, I'm going to click close. So license is done. I'm going to click next. So for the languages, um, there's three options. There are all languages and languages based on configure configure in WSS. This is default and languages selected below or you can select your own language. So in this case, I'm going to choose the second options, which is the default. I'm going to click next. So there's a different um, optional uh, custom catalog. In this case, um, I'm going just to check automatic catalog is um, Avanti. And metadata options um, default is prompt me when metadata revisions are available. I recommend to use the update WSS metadata without prompting. I'm going to click next. All right, now you can uh, launch the checker to see if everything is look correct. Launch configuration checker. Looks good. I'm clicking to start. So everything looks um, good except one warning. It just tell me that um, in, in conclusive, this check require password. That's fine. It's just a warning, and I can fix it later. So. That's it, folks. Um, that's how you configure a Vonti plugin in SCCM or Configuration Manager if you want to deploy 
any third party apps. There's uh, hundreds or even thousands of um, third party applications available or third party patching available for you to patch. So thank you for watching and have a great day. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover everything with SCCM, third party patching, uh, Office 365, Intune and a lot more. Have a great day.